you think about I mean, that's the it. best way to try on shoes, is wear them yes. around. Yes, in your own home with all <laughs> your outfits, right? So it's a really good way to do it. I was really excited to present this one because it's exclusive to us. Mm -hmm. And we know Clark's is a worldwide brand at this point. So this is something truly unique. And talking about the comfort of a slipper, but having that elegant, sleek, classic look of a loafer. It's the Ashland Ballot Leather Loafer. It is all genuine material. These are genuine leather. And if you pick up the leopard print that I've been wearing, that is going to be a beautiful suede. Yes, so very suede. soft, super high quality. You can even see the arch support. We're gonna tell you all about the inside. I just wanted to walk you through the colors. Um, this is going to be your burgundy and it's yep. a beautiful reddish brown. And that's the one I'm wearing today. It looks really stunning on you. And, and the burgundy like the next to the, the mahogany is nice to see. Yes. yes, you're right, a little purple undertone. Yeah, I would say the mahogany is more of your true brown mm -hmm. where the burgundy has more of that purple kind of Merlot look to it. Very pretty. We also have, how unique is this? The pewter. <gasps> Add a little glam. Oh my gosh. Think of those holiday parties where you want to be comfortable. You don't always need to wear a heel. Right. At that one, I think you could definitely dress up a little bit and this more. is a nice way to dive into the world of metallics, but because it's a classic silhouette, you don't feel like you're branching out too much. It's not too trendy. It's more fresh. Right. And it's not like real bright and glittery. Right. It's just got a beautiful sheen to it. Here is the black, and then we're gonna put that next to the navy, of course, so that yes. you can see. I love the navy that Clarks brings us, that true navy. Yes, it's And then very you dark. have the leopard print, and the leopard print, again, is gonna be that genuine suede, and then you even have that beautiful little area on the front, too, with the cording, the yes. leather corded so detail. so we call that the keeper. So traditionally, in a penny loafer, you have a little slot there where you would put the penny, so I love how we changed it up a little, and we took leather, and we actually knotted it to give you that leather look detail over the keeper and then we even etched in mm. the little bit of um, scoring there to give the, you that little ridge appearance and then as I have this shot here I can show you the goring so you have this hidden goring on Beautiful. both sides of your instep so look at that that is going to just mold to your foot and as you're walking around all day it's going to move and flex with you and then the bottom look at the bottom here how much wow. that bends. So this is why the Ashland bottom is so popular because it's part of our bendables collection, mm -hmm. which means you have these external grooves that expand when you walk that the same grooves are internally, they contract. So it's an invisible hinge system, why it, which is why it feels like it's broken in out of the box for you. It's such a, a structured look, which is what you want with a loafer, but it does, it feels honestly like a slipper. I wrote down a couple of key things to me that stood out when I was you know, researching this shoe ahead of time. Moisture wicking, breathable, mm -hmm. cushioning heel to toe, and feels like a slipper. So that, the moisture wicking mm -hmm. and open cell structure, that's because of our ortholite memory function. Home. So we gave you that all in here, which is from heel to toe. You can see all of that cushioning. You have that little extra heel cook, um, arch cookie. Sorry about that. And then you also have a heel cookie too, though. So you're I'll take getting a cookie anyway. Yeah, I'll I take can a, get a cookie. cookie. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm hungry too for lunch. So, uh, but you have all that support additionally in the arch too, where you know you as we walk over time, that's mm -hmm. where you need the support. And like you said moisture wicking, antibacterial, antimicrobial. So you don't have to worry about wearing a sock with this because your feet aren't gonna sweat. You could wear this in the summer easily How and then transition it to fall too. You could even wear this with a cute pair of tights. Well, in the one minute we have left, I'd love to walk you through the colors and the sizing one more time so that you can take advantage of our feature price point on this exclusive shoe from Clark's. This is the pewter. This is how you do the metallic look without feeling like I was saying, like you're going too far out of the box because it's such a classic, reliable silhouette. By the way, this is one and a half inches high on the back here, so a little bit of lift so it's not flat on the ground, but that's gonna also help with the support. So that's the pewter. Then we have the two different brown options. This one is called mahogany and this is called burgundy and the burgundy definitely does have that reddish brown undertone mm -hmm. to it so burgundy mahogany but you could easily wear them with I feel like any shades of brown yeah. or tans it's I just agree. really rich it undertones. would definitely work the black we have navy and then we have the leopard print. These leopard. are all genuine leathers, genuine suede. The sizing, five through 12, with half sizes, medium or wide width. 
totally custom fit on these. You can get them home for $13 and change right now on a flex payment. I want to thank you, Michelle, for coming thank to you. Lunch Rush. I know it was your last stop yes. on your visits today. Yes, this was fun. And hopefully we'll get to see you soon. Okay. Okay, and check out the entire Clark's collection, by the way, online at hsn.com. If you're just joining, welcome into Lunch Rush. We move kind of fast here. There's a lot of variety happening. So I want to remind you of a couple of items that maybe you missed earlier in the show. Chelsea Freeman was here with Motto, and we were taking